Hey guys, I want to talk just briefly about the two-sided coin of success. Um, sometimes when you're beginning to be successful and to have a certain status, it can be scary, even if it's just a little success. Like, lately on YouTube, my videos have been getting a lot more popular, and, um, which I love. I love the fact now that people are, people are responding to what God has given me. It's, it's a precious and great honor. But on the, but on the other hand, it's a two-sided coin. Um, I find myself praying, Lord. Please help me handle this modicum of success. Please help me to always hear your word. Uh, um, to the prayer, Lord, Lord, I hope I don't screw this up. And I just came 200 uh, subscribers may not may not seem like a lot. It's definitely not viral on YouTube standards, but it's but it's big enough when you've stayed at uh, one number for basically three years. And you're just praying that you manage it all well. And what God said to me about my little situation was, just keep doing what you've been doing for the past 12 years. Don't let numbers dictate what you do because a lot of people not a lot of people some people when they see numbers they think they need to change and they panic and this is um, the quandary I find myself in because um, I don't know if you're like me but you want change you want to be successful but once you get there you're like um panicking, how do I manage it all, how, what comments do I answer and what comments do I, do I leave alone, or what if I get something mean and it affects me negatively, uh, and the Lord said, you cannot worry about that, all I need you to do right now is preach my word, and I'm telling you, whatever industry you're in, whatever success or not comes your way, just keep doing what you've been doing. Just keep living how you've been living. Don't pay attention to how many people are watching. Don't let it change what you do. Just do what you do and the rest will follow. And that's what the Lord taught me that just don't worry about the numbers, don't worry about anything else, but just keep preaching the gospel like you've been for the past 12 years, Rachel. And don't worry how much I'm, pre I'm increasing, don't be surprised. Because he said, now is your time, and you don't need to be worried or be... Um, scared that you're capable not to, that you won't manage it well, because with me, you will manage it well, and that's what he's saying, what I feel to you, don't be afraid of success, just continue to hear his voice, continue to, to um, do what you have been doing for the past however many years you've been doing this, just keep watering and he'll bring the increase. And don't worry about, oh, what if I do this? What if I can't manage it? Well, but with him at the helm of whatever you're doing, you will manage it well. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. The world is so afraid. Uh, what if they see my mistakes? What if I respond? Spawn wrong. What if you do? If if 
if um, hard times come, you'll deal with them. Just keep doing what you do for the past 12 years. And for those of you who are waiting for success, use this time as preparation. Don't, don't, don't be so waiting for success. Use this time. Just do what you do. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about clicks. Don't worry about likes. Don't worry about who's watching. Don't worry about getting canceled. Just do what you do and let God do what he does. And when God does what he does, don't stop him. Don't stop him and don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Enjoy it. He, he was saying this um, today when I was freaking out over the numbers on my last video. I want to say thank you for that, by the way. Thank you for the to the person who shared it. I really appreciate it. But uh, when I was uh, freaking out over the numbers, he said, uh, that's just me giving the increase. He said, Rachel, you are finally getting your due. You are finally getting what you owe. Don't freak out over it or, or stop me from doing what I'm going to do. You deserve it. You deserve it because of all the hard work. You put in all the wisdom you've dropped, all the times you've n never complained, all the all the times you've cried. You deserve it, and your day has come. And I will say to you right now, your day has come. You've toiled enough. You've you've done enough now. He's saying to someone else like he said to me don't fight the blessing embrace it and know that your day has come that's that's the title I'm going to give to this video you've been toiling long enough you've been doing whatever you do long enough and your day has come embrace it don't fight what he's giving you know that Know that you are deserving, you are worthy of what he's given you. And accept it. And know that he will, if you keep him at the helm, he will give you the tools that you need. The problem is when you take him off of, off of the lead spot and think that it's only you, and take him out of that spot and try to do things yourself. That's when you get into problems. But keep on him at the helm, and he will give you wisdom. He will give you knowledge. He will give you grace to handle what you are to handle. And look not to the right nor to the left, but know that validation comes from him. And he is, he is so proud of you. He is so proud of you for sticking it through. And you don't have to get a million subscribers on YouTube or thousands of subscribers on YouTube. On YouTube or Facebook or Snapchat or whatever. You are enough. What you do, what you do is more than enough. He's created you. He's designed you. And embrace your design. Embrace your unique makeup. Don't ever try and copy anyone else because you don't know what that person, their lane is. Their lane is totally different than yours. And you are, you are, you are more than good enough to do what he's called you to do. And when you're, when you're copying another person, you are not focused on your purpose, your destiny, and the world is missing out on you. The world has got so many, the, the world has got them already. They don't need another them. They don't need another celebrity. They don't need another whatever. They need you. 
and embrace who you are and know that you are enough. You were divinely designed. You were created by, by this divine creator who loves you so much more than you could ever imagine. This is your day. Embrace your day. Don't fight your day. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks again for all the views. I really appreciate it. Bye.